six women, one goal. Extreme Huntress. Extreme Huntress is brought to you by these proud sponsors. I'm going after a course of injury. Excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, I've never ever hunted a sheep or a goat or anything, so that's why I decided to go after a sheep. There's only a couple of animals in here that we consider management animals, and there's a lot of animals in here, and it's a big space. Now, there is one kind of fly in the ointment here. There's a one, two, three, four. And so you can be somewhat aggressive if he charges us. I want you to hand me your rifle, and I'll step, I'll step up. You guys step behind me. You hand me your rifle, okay? I'll be behind you. Okay. I think all in all, it worked really well. Um, unfortunately, all the animals we came up on were not the one that she was supposed to shoot, but sometimes that's just the luck of the draw. She also communicated with us, she talked us out. And she was strategic. We worked water hole to water hole. The water hole's off to the side though, so if we're going this way. She used the roads because there's a lot of crunchy rocks and debris in the in-betweens, and uh, I think that was a great strategy. I've never experienced humidity like this before. We just have an interesting little run in with the uh, Watusi bull. Uh, Steve had said, you know, there's a feisty bull in here. If he comes, give me the gun. We very carefully gave him a really wide berth and he still came at us. She's walking towards me. She's coming, she's coming. Steve, she's coming. She's coming, Steve. If you want adrenaline in a hunt, this was the way to go. Uh, we kind of shooed them out of there and backed our way out, and it was it was pretty intense. I felt like I was in Africa. <laughs> you gotta kill that thing. That thing's gotta go. <laughs> Cassandra asked Taylor for a lot of advice. You know, it's a good strategy. She knows Taylor was here last year. She knows Taylor hunted here this morning. So, I mean, you gotta utilize the resources that are available to you. As far as I'm concerned, it's a smart move. There were a couple times where we were walking directly opposite the wind, but she had a plan. She was working toward a goal. So I don't know, I think she did really well overall. Hunting with Lindsay was actually a great pleasure. This young lady knows how to hunt. She did some research on the animals. She knew they liked the open areas. We got here, we laid out the pasture as to how it laid out. She decided she wanted to go to the far west side so the sun would be at her back, the wind would be in her face. Well, let's do that. Let's go back to that. Okay, down, down here, across the Yeah. We did so, eased along, spotted the animals. seeing what I want here. I think that the original execution was good by crossing the field. The only thing I would have liked to see different was that we did um, not come back to the truck. I would have liked to see her stock down. Oh, we just saw some scimitar over here to the left. So I'm gonna get my gun and hopefully the one I'm after is in this herd. So I'm on safe. Good. I have one in the chamber. Sat there for a little while. One of the animals came out, unfortunately, with the sauce. Walked back in. He doesn't seem too spooked, so I'm just gonna sneak over here on this tree line. I mean, all the ones that I've got looks at their heads. I've seen horns, but I know there's some that I haven't got a look at their head. 
I don't want to be wasting time, but I don't want to bump the autos, and I don't know if I don't even know if my animal's in there. She made the decision, let's not move in real tight. They're all dead over on the right. I can't do this, I can't do that. The Jeep is here. Let's make a big circuit this route to where I can get a better look down into this little bottom where they are. We did, and unfortunately, when we set up there, the Jeep was right in the line of fire. <laughs> if the Jeep hadn't been there, if the Jeep be... hadn't been there, I would have loved to just sit there. Sat right there. Yeah, and wait, and that, like I said, I didn't, I didn't even think about the Jeep until I got over there, and then he said, just so you know, the Jeep can't be in there, and I'm like, <laughs> dang it. She had a game plan. She did everything she needed to do, except the opportunity for the shot. So to me, it was a very, very successful hunt. Next time on Extreme Huntress, it's back into the field for Taylor and Candace in search of an odd dad you, and a scimitar horned oryx is the order of the day for Chantel and Allison. Who will be 2017's Extreme Huntress? Tune in and find out. Extreme Huntress is brought to you by these proud sponsors.